Welcome to your 2023 reading, Virgo. Today, we are going to look into the main areas of your life for 2023, what you should expect in terms of events, opportunities, and challenges. What we have here is love, career and finance, unexpected events, a special event for 2023, and how you're going to end the year going into 2024 as well. Then in part two of the reading, we will go month by month to see what you should expect in more details, okay? Now, let's start with the main energy and message for your love life in 2023. The first two cards that we have here are forgiveness and memories. There is clearly here something that it's going to resurface from a situation that you're either dealing with right now, Virgo, or you have been dealing with in 2022. It feels as though this could be something that has ended and that has come to a, a stop when it comes to progression, when it comes to movement. But what we see over here is that there is still a very strong pull when it comes to this situation. It might come from you, it might come from the other person, but clearly something is resurfacing with the memories card over here. This is someone who at some point will just start realizing that whatever they had in the past and thought that it was over with, it's still very much alive in their heart and they will be forced to look into this because this is not something that they can ignore or that they can ignore for a long time. This to me feels like that recurring thought that just presents itself over and over again. You know, when you are doing anything throughout the day and you always have that image in your mind, whatever you're looking at, wherever you're going, it, it's like it's part of you. It's like it's right there in front of you, even if it's not. And so I do perceive that this is an external energy, Virgo, but obviously energies go both ways. For some of you, this could be you thinking about this person, but most of you, it will be external. This is somebody who is stuck on one of your pictures. They keep maybe rewatching a video of you talking dancing, doing something, and they just, the more they look at this video, the more they feel the ground beneath them just coming down. There is no ground without you. And they are right here understanding that the reason why there is distance, the reason why this is not alive and well right now, it's because of something that must have happened. Maybe it's happening right now, or it has happened a few months ago, we see with forgiveness that somebody might be planning to come in with an apology. And again, we are looking at main messages. So don't think of this as just, you know, a text message coming in in 2024 that you might address or that you might ignore. No, this is something that whether you engage with or not, there you go, it's going to change the direction for your love life in 2023, okay? It's clearly something that will have a big impact on you. Now, the forgiveness card is something that talks about an apology coming in, but also for you, the need to forgive what has happened in the past, okay, Virgo? And again, it doesn't mean that once you forgive, you give another chance. That's not what we're talking about here. You might want to give another chance. That's going to be up to you. But the main message here is, Virgo, for 2023, do not carry unnecessary burden burdens in your new cycle, okay? Because it's going to slow you down and it's going to prevent you to find that happiness that you are still looking for. You know, I do feel that some of you are a little burnt out when it comes to these type of situations. 
you gave so much, received so little. That is just something that always seems to go wrong when it comes to these type of connections, investments in your life, right? And you're trying to figure out what, what is up with that? Why? Regardless what it's needed here from what we see so far is to let go of the hurt, the pain, forgive the person because forgiveness first and foremost is for you, Virgo, okay? Nine of Pentacles. It's very important for you to realize that you have everything you need. And I know it's easy, easier said than done. We said, we say this on this channel so many times, but the reason why you should adopt this mindset it's because once you truly believe that you're abundant on your own, you don't have to, to ask for anything to anyone, you'll start acting in a different way. You'll stop chasing and you'll just start letting in only the right people. Or if it's someone who was wrong at some point, maybe you will let them in just at the right time when they learn their lesson, when they understand how they have to change in order to be a match with you okay obviously we'll go deeper into this and see what exactly is going to happen here now let's switch to finance and career and honestly <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing to me especially considering this nine of pentacles card over here talking about you shifting the focus to yourself very good this time Enough of the drama, enough of the people that make mistakes, people that disappoint you, enough of the external stuff and noise, okay? What about you? What about what's going on inside of you and in your own life, the things you can control? High standards, nine of pentacles, okay? Be brave enough to be alone, even if that means that you're going to push away people you thought once they were important to you. You have immense growth as far as your finance career for 2023. And when we see this, this is very much the type of card that connects to uh, the magician because it talks about potential. It talks about something that can happen or might never happen. If you want to know how to make it happen, you need to focus on what you are doing. And these two cards are giving you a very specific and clear message. The message here is you are going in 2023, you're going to be able to manifest huge things and to achieve big, big goals. Very big. The biggest maybe you've ever achieved in your life, Virgo. But you'll need to take action. And in order to take action, you need to let go of burdens, you need to let go of fears and negative thoughts, negative self-destructive patterns that will not allow you to get here. Look at this, this is all about patterns, okay? This is the same pattern that repeats itself over and over again. Let go of the ones that are destructive and engage in the ones that instead help you achieve what you know you deserve and so we'll look more into this but what we see already is that you're going to receive opportunities and if you're not with that card over there same as the magician you're going to create your own opportunities and i do see that if you do take action and not just like little action if you really go for things in 2023 you're going to see major results, okay? Now, the devil card over here is, first of all, telling us that there is that fear of taking the risk, of making a mistake that maybe you have made in, uh, in the past. So there is a very clear message here saying, hey, Virgo might self-sabotage themselves in 2023. Do not do that to yourself, okay? You need to feel more empowered. Feel that you actually have a lot of control over the situation. So time to let go, 
of all beliefs and expectations in order to allow things to unfold as they're meant to. Because you are meant to be happy. You are meant to receive these things. If you're telling yourself otherwise, then you're lying to yourself and you're setting yourself up for failure, okay? So don't hold on to anything that limits you. And, you know, as, a, as comfortable as it may seem, a unhealthy attachment or belief will always lead to unhappiness. Sometimes we get so used to these uh, beliefs and attachments that they feel like they're good for us, but no, they're not, okay? So you might be feeling right now trapped in a job or in a situation that you cannot get rid of, but take action, bold action, and you'll see how on the other end of all of this, there is immense, immense growth, okay? As far as unexpected, I actually really like these two cards because what we see here with karma and the mender is that what you'll see unexpectedly in 2023 is justice. I feel that you're coming from a series of bad outcomes and you look back and you think, wow, people can really get away with anything, can they? And it sucks. It's just setting this, uh, the ground for this belief in your life for which you start thinking, okay, I mean, why even invest? Why even believe when people eventually do whatever they want to do and they don't even have to face the consequences for it? No more of that. 2023, it's a big year where you're going to see, okay, all right, now I see it. People get what they deserve. And this is also making you understand that it, the same is true for you. And so if you take wrong actions towards you especially, then you're going to end up in a situation that will not be what you expect, what you want, what you deserve, okay? And when we say wrong actions towards you, letting people in that are not good for you, uh, choosing an opportunity because it feels like that's the only thing you can afford. None, none of that in 2023, Virgo, please. Do not engage in that pattern, okay? Even when you don't know what is coming in, this is the year where you have to just develop faith. You know, faith in the universe, in karma, in life, but especially in yourself. Learning to distinguish between fear and intuition. How do you do that? I always say it. Fear will always make you go small. Like you see this person closing up within herself, right? Intuition instead will always make you want to grow, expand, take action. You will feel it. You're thinking about a situation that feels fearful. Okay, you're trying to understand if it's going to go right or wrong. But the voice within, what, what is it telling you? Is it telling you something that makes you want to go back to bed and never get out of the, the, your home? Or is it, gonna tell, is it telling you, hey, go for this? It's not a matter of succeeding or failing. It's a matter of never giving up. That is your intuition, okay? So we'll look more into this, but it feels like you are going to see people coming back. Obviously, opportunities coming back. Just people saying, oh, crap, I should have given you a chance back then, Virgo. My bad. So satisfaction, redemption. That's what I'm seeing here. It's as if this is the year of redemption and surprises as well from what we see so far, okay? Now, special events. This is a more fluid section for me, special event, your power and your challenges, but I don't see many challenges here with soulmates in abundance. It's as if, you know, we've been looking at different areas of your life, true, but there is this common theme, right? And the theme is try to really understand that limitations are the ones that you give yourself. And as long as you do what's right for you and you let go of unnecessary burdens, you can achieve anything. Soulmates abundance. Right here, 
your power, your special events for 2023 is these big achievements over here. This could be someone brand new, obviously, a soul connection. Um, or it could be this person now seeing you this way, learning this new side of you and getting their shit together, you know? Understanding that, okay, I need to step my game up for my Virgo or I'm going to lose them forever. Also with soulmates, we have an agreement, a partnership. It could be work-wise as well. It could be something you're going to sign that it's giving you abundance. It's giving you a home. This might easily be the, the year where you buy a home, especially with all these good results. But obviously, you need to keep a positive mindset at all times, okay? Just feel like you are exactly where you're meant to be. And that is going to bring you even more abundance. Now, the year is going to end with um, a, very, <laughs> a very beautiful message actually here. And especially this one, believe in the impossible. What I see here is a build up, okay? These are at first expectations. I want this to happen. And then they will come in and they will start being confirmations, validations. Then they will start to show up into actual events that you can really experience 100%. And now they will change your mindset. And now right here, it feels like at the end of the year, there is an explosion. Everything that has been piling up now is finally going to shape up into this amazing new chapter that will, I do believe so far, will really change you as a person. And it's obviously there is this is a year of adjustments. This is a year of understanding things that you couldn't understand before, shaping yourself up in a way that you're not expecting right now. In other words, what I see you being, who I see you being a year from now, is someone who now you would not recognize, you know? But you got this, and it's beautiful. I do see this as a surprise, end of the year surprise, where you will have to truly believe in it because it's gonna feel too good to be true. It is. And it's time for you to stop feeling that way because what's given to you here is just the rewards for everything you've had to go through over here, okay? So I do believe that you have major beautiful things coming your way. And I do believe that you need to convince yourself that you have more control over this than you know. Now, let's get to part two of the reading. We will go month by month to see what you should expect to see what all of this is about so that you can prepare for the accomplishments but also the challenges for 2023, okay? Follow me, the link down below in the description box. Welcome to part two of your yearly reading, Virgo. Look at the main energy for your year. Come on, this is absolutely amazing. As you know, the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana, a beautiful beautiful card to have and it goes very well with all that karma energy that we were talking about okay this is a, a very lucky year for you and in order to understand why that's important we should say we should talk about what luck is luck is not something that it's needed something that it's necessary in order for you to achieve your goals and to uh, be where you want to be in life. Luck, though, it's something that talks about everything being aligned for you to achieve what you want. It's just a, uh, a booster, okay? Something that speeds things up. And it's sometimes such a relief, such a comfort to have that. Because, obviously, if you never give up, eventually you'll get where you want to be. But sometimes you just need that extra hand, that extra help that will just enable us or help us getting where we want to be faster. So this is the year 
where things are just moving in a way around you, things that you cannot control. They're moving in a way that will help you getting out of situations that maybe you've been stuck in, situations and patterns for too long. So that's really a very good thing. It feels like this is the year where you need to take action, but also you need to sit back. You'll have many moments where you just sit back and enjoy the show. Minimum input, big result. That's what I'm seeing right here.